Hey y'all, it's Tadasa back with another video. And I am so, so excited to give y'all this video today about this bag because I am honestly in love with this. I know I say this about all of my bags because it's true, but I am really in love with this bag and how unique it is. So, I revealed this back over on Instagram first. If you're not following me over on Instagram, it's HP Life and Style. Pause the video real quick, head over there, and follow along for all the fun. So, I'm, I'm just gonna show y'all the bag. Y'all, can, can we take a second? Or 10, 10 seconds. Y'all, how gorgeous, how gorgeous is this bag right now? Like, can we just, can we just talk about this? Um, we're gonna talk about it. So this bag is by a Nigerian designer. Um, called Marte Gellin. I could be saying that wrong, but I think that's how you say it. And this is the toy essay. That's what this is. So it comes, the essay bag comes in, a, it comes in a micro, a toy, a mini, and a midi. So I was in love with this print. You see how it's like the croc print with the snake skin and I was in love with the print but I was like okay I have enough mini bags I'm gonna get one that's a little bit bigger so I did actually message them on Instagram before purchasing asking them if they had this in the mini size which is bigger than the toy and um unfortunately they did not because these bags they're all handmade and they like get in the leathers and then just make certain bags. So they only made this one in the toy size. So I waffled on it for a little bit, but then I was like, man, bump it. I need this bag <laughs> even if it is a little bit smaller than the size that I wanted. So I purchased it and it actually came pretty fast. For it to be coming from Nigeria, it did come pretty fast. So shipping was um shipping was great. And when I got the bag, I was just really surprised. Like I knew it was handmade. Um but I don't know. I I really wasn't expecting the quality of the bag. That sounds bad to say on my part, but I wasn't really expecting how well made this bag is. Like when you get it, it's like there's a little bit of weight to it and the handle is just so thick and sturdy like you can feel the quality of this bag and then the smell y'all this this smells like good leather like y'all y'all know what good leather smell like okay this smells like good quality leather so you know they're not making this out of some cheap stuff so let's talk about the bag a little bit so I think one thing that you might be able to do not with this bag with other bags I think sometimes that they actually allow you to choose the thread color so there are threads along here and then of course in the handle and the threads on this particular bag are black and then it actually has a magnetic closure here so let me open this and it's a strong magnet so it's not going to fall open on you or anything like that so I took that loose you open it like this and then the inside is also kind of like this it's like a bluish gray suede and it is so so soft and I'm gonna try to show y'all the inside so this is the inside the front and then at the back. So you see at the back, it does have a slip pocket and the slip pocket is in the crop print as well. 
So I didn't do an unboxing for you guys, but this definitely comes. It came in like a gift bag with the designer's name on it. And also it had, um, of course it was in a dust bag. So it comes well wrapped. And then also on the inside, in that slip pocket, you'll get um, a, little, a little card from the designer. So, and then also their logo is in metal on the inside. But, oh yeah, this is the snap magnetic closure, if you can see right here. But yeah, other than that, it's a simple bag. It does come with a strap, I will say that. This is the strap and it is in the croc print as well and it is adjustable. I probably won't be really using the strap that much because I just love how the bag looks top handle. Let me close it back up. So the strap you would attach here, well, you see the metal here on both sides. So that's where you would attach the strap. But this bag is just beyond, beyond gorgeous. You can see like the light catching it because this is kind of like iridescent, like with the snake print, it is so, so pretty. And I took it, when I took the picture and posted it on Instagram, I like really hated that you couldn't see how beautiful it was. But I think the video really shows how pretty this bag is. So, as far as what fits in this bag, we'll talk about that. So, it's a mini bag. I got the toy size. So it will fit my keys, which of course I need, which is, I just have my Louis Vuitton key case, hand sanitizer, and my key fob. This will all definitely fit in there. Um, it will not fit a phone. Let me just show you at the back. This is why it won't fit a phone because the bag goes in like this. And so the phone won't fit, like you can't get it in at the top because it's not the same width. I believe if you have, um, let's see if this pocket organizer will fit. It will. So this is what I have in there right now. And you can see it's basically full um if you want to put let's see of course you can fit um your mask in here so i'll put that in and this is one of my bigger lipsticks it's just a revlon lipstick i'll throw that on top and if you have any other like little small items they will fit I don't know I don't have anything else little to put in here but this is let me actually tuck this up on the side so this is what it looks like so there's still room on top if you want to like lay something on top it won't fit um a mini pochette not gonna happen um yeah so that's that's about it so let me close that up so y'all can see what it looks like close okay so yeah I would say this is pretty um pretty much what it will hold and it doesn't look stuff or anything like that it still holds its shape very very well and I love, I mean, I, I know a lot of y'all, you know, we don't want bags that are too heavy, but I do love the weight of this. I mean, it's not going to be that heavy because it's a mini bag, but the quality of it, you know, and the quality of the leather, like, gives it some weight. And I love that about this bag. So, other than that, I don't know, I don't really have much else to say about this bag i mean i could sit here and look at it all 
day, <laughs> but I know y'all don't want to do that with me. So definitely check out um, Marte Gilly. Like I said, they're um, a Nigerian designer, black owned business. So we'll always support that. And I always, I, I was checking ever since um, I saw Jack in my bags um, buy a few of their bags back in June. I believe it was that she got hers, but at the time they didn't have really any colors or designs that were speaking to me. So I would definitely say check back because they're always like introducing new designs. And this was one that popped up the other month. So it's, it's so unique. And um, they always have such unique pieces because like I said, it depends on, they told me that it depends on the leathers that they get in as to what will be available. So yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out in any way, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video.